Mutua Kalonzo, Jr., Deputy Governor, Distinguished Government Officials, Representatives from Strathmore Energy Research Centre, the World Resources Institute, and all stakeholders present, good afternoon. Let me also just say thank you to our hosts uh, who kindly have invited us here for the launch, uh, and also to acknowledge the presence of my colleagues, Rabina, Janet, Evans, and others who are here with me today. As you've heard, I am the Deputy High Commissioner of the British High Commission, and very recently arrived here in Kenya just last month. In fact, this is my first official visit outside of Nairobi. And I am learning a lot. Not only that there is great leadership in the county of Makweni, but in the person of the governor, you have a very capable dancer. It is a privilege to be here today for the launch of McQuenny County's first ever County Energy Plan. This milestone not only highlights the county's commitment to sustainable energy solutions, but also underscores the UK and Kenya's shared dedication to driving economic growth and improving livelihoods through clean energy. The UK is a long-standing partner and friend to Kenya and to this county. And through UK PACT, which stands for Partnering for Accelerated Climate Transitions, we have been proud to provide the technical expertise necessary to bring McKenney County's energy vision to life. Today, McQuenny stands among few counties in Kenya to have developed a comprehensive energy plan, an accomplishment that speaks to the tireless efforts of the Strathmore Energy Research Centre, the World Resources Institute, and the unwavering commitment of the county's leadership. The UK government has an ambition to lead by example when it comes to climate change and energy. We aim to build a global clean power alliance to help tackle the significant challenges to delivering clean power and to accelerate the transition to clean power. This will bring together a coalition of countries at the cutting edge of climate action who share our ambition. We want to work collaboratively with international partners and share best practice about deploying clean energy at scale and at pace. As a country at the forefront on clean energy, the UK will continue to work with Kenya, including through this alliance, to demonstrate how leadership can drive our collective ambition and achievement. As we have heard already today, the McQuenny County Energy Plan directly aligns with the Energy Act of 2019, mandating counties to create and update energy plans every three to five years. McQuenny's plan will be transformative, helping to achieve universal electrification by 2026 and clean cooking by 2028, in line with Kenya's national energy targets. So we can say that if Kenya is a global leader, Makweni County plays the pioneering role. One of the standout achievements of this initiative is the development of the Geographic Information System based Energy Access Explorer Toolkit. This groundbreaking tool offers data-driven insights that enable Makweni County to prioritize areas where energy access is most needed. As only the second such tool in Kenya, this is a significant advancement in how counties approach energy planning, moving us closer to a future where every household in Kenya is connected. Beyond tools, we have focused as the UK on capacity building, ensuring this progress is sustainable in the long term. Through our partners, we have trained 29 county officers in energy planning, policy development, and finance. Additionally, 16 chief officers have received training on integrated planning and budgeting, and 40 technical staff have honed their skills in solar PV installation. 
This leaves Makwenni County equipped not just for today, but for the future. Equally exciting is the solarization of Makwenni County Referral Hospital, which I was privileged to visit this morning with His Excellency the Governor and his team. With approximately 30 million Kenya shillings investment, the county has taken the bold step of installing a 205 kilowatt power solo photovoltaic system. This is just the beginning of a far-reaching vision to install solar power at healthcare facilities across Makweni, ensuring that hospitals and clinics, those critical lifelines for all of us, are powered by reliable, sustainable energy. The impact of this initiative transcends energy access alone, as we have been hearing. By bringing clean, affordable energy to previously underserved areas, we unlock countless economic opportunities, elevate healthcare services, and further Kenya's broader climate goals, including the target of reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 32% by 2030. Makweni's ambitions are admirable. From solar street lighting to the establishment of a model energy center, the county is poised to become a beacon of energy innovation, meaning a more resilient, prosperous, and sustainable future for the people of Makweni. As we gather here today, celebrating this achievement, it is a proud moment not only for Makweni County, but for all those who have contributed to this success. And I'm amazed to see quite the breadth of participation as we have heard from all those who've, who have participated in the development of this plan and now, crucially, will need to participate in its successful implementation. On behalf of the UK Government, I am delighted to announce an additional uplift of £300,000 to support McQuenney's energy journey. and a further £300,000 to address climate change. This brings the total to £600,000, or around 1 million Kenyan shillings, in order to support the next step of Makweni's energy journey. This support, through the Strathmore University and International Centre for Agroforestry, will support the development of the county energy policy, which will see the implementation of this energy plan. And in addition, support the county's efforts to protect and restore landscape through nature-based solutions. As we heard from the children this morning, go green, it's our choice. Hongera and Asantani Sana. <laughs>